We are going to discuss the concepts and formula of reorder point and economic order quantity. Okay? So class, inventory planning involves the determination of the following to meet future business requirements. What are the things that we have to consider when we are doing inventory planning? First is inventory quality. Okay, it is a very important factor in inventory planning. We have to make sure that we are ordering the right quality of our inventory. Second, the quantity of inventory on stock. Okay, we have to make sure that there is a right level of inventory in our warehouse. And so with that, we can consider the timing of order. Okay, so the quantity of inventory on stock will determine when is the time to order. Okay, we also have to consider cost of order, how much it will cost us for each order. And we also have to consider cost of storing the inventory. Cost of storing the inventory can also be called the carrying cost or the holding cost. And we have to consider the demand for the inventory. How many units do we need for a particular month or for a particular year? It depends on the situation. Okay, class. So these are the things that we have to consider in inventory planning. Because inventory planning involves controlling the level of investment in the inventory. Um, we need to know okay, how much investment are we going to put in in our inventory? Okay, so it is really very important. So we have to have certain technique. So the approach and mathematical techniques that may be used in determining inventory order size, timing, and other considerations include first, when orders must be placed. So the timing of order, when are we going to order? In this, we are going to study reorder point. And reorder point is also called order point. Okay? And the next question would be, how many units should be ordered? So it will be the right quantity. How many units are we going to order? And in this, we are going to use the economic order quantity in determining the right quantity to order. Okay? And economic order quantity can also be called standard order. Okay, class? So here, class, um, when we are going to use these mathematical techniques, the reorder point and economic order quantity, we will be able to address the quantity of inventory in stock, the cost of storing the inventory, the cost of order, the demand for the inventory, and the timing of order. Okay, the inventory quality is very very subjective so it depends on the company to measure what is the quality of inventory that they do need okay of course the inventory quality will not reflect in these two mathematical techniques okay let us discuss reorder point the reorder point is the level of inventory which triggers an action to replenish that particular inventory stock it is a minimum amount of an item which a firm holds in stock such that when stock falls to this amount, the item must be reordered. So this is the quantity that the company needs to hold, okay, at the minimum level. So if that minimum level is rich, this will trigger that it is time to order, okay? For example, uh, you are selling bicycle and uh, in your warehouse, okay, you have several levels of inventory. And if the level of inventory is only 200 units and you know that based on your reorder point calculation, 200 units is the minimum level that will trigger you to order, okay? So it is normally calculated as the forecast usage during the replenishment lead time plus safety stock. Hence, computation of reorder point is based on the following data. Class, I would like to emphasize that reorder point considers lead time and safety stock. So class, 
First is the usage that we have to consider in the calculation of the order point. Usage is the anticipated rate at which the material will be used, okay? Like in bicycle, how many days are you selling per day? How many bi bicycles, rather, are you selling per day, okay? So that will be your usage. Lead time is the estimated time interval between the placement of the order and the receipt of the units or items ordered. So this is the lag time period. For example, you ordered um, today. How many times it will take? How many days it will take the supplier before the supplier can deliver? So you have to consider that in your reorder point. Third is the safety stock. Safety stock is the estimated minimum level of inventory needed to protect against stock outs. Meaning that if there is a delay in the delivery by the supplier, okay, you still have some stocks in the warehouse. So that is your safety stock. So you also have to consider this in calculating your reorder point. So here, the reorder point formula is equivalent to usage times lead time plus safety stock. Okay, so this is our formula for reorder point. Now let us discuss economic order quantity. What is the concept of economic order quantity? So economic order quantity is the order size, size that minimizes the sum of ordering and holding costs related to manufacturing raw materials or merchandise inventories. So this is the size of order that provides a minimum sum of ordering and holding cost, okay? It is the optimal inventory size that should be ordered with the supplier so that the company can minimize the total annual inventory cost. So when we speak of annual inventory cost, we are referring to ordering cost and carrying cost. By the way, class, I would like to emphasize that carrying cost and holding cost are synonymous, okay? Other names used for economic order quantity are optimal order size and optimal order quantity. So they are uh, the same or standard order, okay? The economic order quantity is computed by both manufacturing companies and merchandising companies. Manufacturing companies compute it to find the optimal order size of raw materials inventory and merchandising companies compute it to find the optimal order size of ready-to-use merchandise inventory. So the two significant factors that are considered in determining the economic order quantity are ordering cost and carrying cost. Okay. Let us continue, class. And let here we will uh, discuss what is ordering cost. The ordering costs are the costs that are incurred every time an order for inventory is placed with a supplier. Examples of these costs include telephone charges, delivery charges, invoice verification expenses, and payment processing expenses, okay? The total ordering cost usually varies according to the frequency of placing orders. Mostly, it is directly pro proportional to the number of orders placed during the year. If the number of orders placed during the year increases, the annual ordering cost will also increase. And if the number of orders placed during the year decreases, of course, the annual ordering cost will also decrease. The next is carrying cost. The carrying cost, also known as holding costs, are the costs that are incurred to hold the inventory in a store or warehouse. Example of costs associated with holding of inventory include occupancy of storage space, rent, shrinkage, deterioration, of inventory, obsolescence of inventory, insurance and property tax in uh, for the inventory, okay? 
So, plus, the total holding cost usually depends upon the size of the orders placed for inventory. Mostly, the larger the order size, the higher the annual holding cost and vice versa. The next factor is demand. Demand is the quantity needed for the period, that is for the year or for the month, okay, depending on the type of inventory. Let us move on, class. Okay, let us discuss EOQ formula. Okay, economic order quantity is, the formula is the square root of 2 O N over C. 2 is constant. Okay, class. And O is, we will be, use this for cost of placing an order or the ordering cost. So we will use O in our formula for the cost of placing an order. And we will use N for the number of units required annually. And we will use C for the annual carrying cost or holding cost per unit of inventory, okay? So this C is express per unit. So the number of orders now, if we will have, or if we have calculated EOQ, we can now determine the number of orders per year by uh, determining it by uh, the number of units required over the EOQ that will give you the number of orders, okay? And the total ordering cost per year, since you already have the number of orders, now the total ordering cost will be the number of orders times the ordering cost, okay? And average inventory, we can compute average inventory by the EOQ divided by 2. And if we already have the average inventory, we, will, we can compute the total carrying cost. So the total carrying cost is equivalent to average inventory times the carrying cost per unit. And now we can calculate now the total cost and the total cost will be the total ordering cost plus the total carrying cost. And the total cost, when it's on its minimum, it means that we have achieved the right economic order quantity. Okay, class? So if you have questions, please let me know. And on succeeding uh, lesson, we are going to illustrate problems that we will be, that we are going to uh, use the uh, a reorder point formula and the economic order quantity. Okay, stay safe class, class and have a nice day. Bye for now.